There are so many new beauty releases happening all the time, so we gathered some of the most hyped products from January to test for ourselves. ELF has been killing it with its new releases lately, and we need to talk about this new Power Grip Primer because it's excellent. Immediately, I compared it to my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. They are virtually identical in terms of texture and how they apply, except this ELF one is obviously cheaper. Just like the Hydro Grip Primer, it creates a really nice tacky base for foundation that's meant to make your makeup last longer. My foundation blended out really nicely on top of this. It wasn't pilling or doing anything out of the ordinary. I took some pictures about five to six hours after I applied and I do think my makeup lasted really well, even my blush, which is literally always the first thing to disappear on my face. ELF also released this powder foundation in its camo line. I'll be honest, powder foundations are just not my thing. I don't like how they look on my skin, but the camo line has had nothing but hits, so I had to try this. The powder is so soft and it blends out very easily. It definitely evened out my skin tone and blurred some of those areas I have of discoloration. However, it just looks powdery. I don't think it gives my skin the most flattering texture. I forgot to set it with some spray to see if that helps at all, but I don't see myself liking this even with setting spray to melt it in a bit. This is not for me. I love trying new mascaras. This is the Makeup Revolution 5D Lash Pal Mascara. It's supposed to make it look like you're wearing falsies. The size of this brush is astronomical. Oh my God, but I love a big natural bristle mascara brush. Right away, I could tell that this mascara was doing a really nice job of thickening my lashes. And the more I built it up, it gave my lashes this nice little curl. I naturally have straight lashes and I hate curling them. So I was really happy with the effect this mascara gave them. Also, I love how you push the cap down to open it. It's really satisfying to me. The Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter is definitely not new, but Madison Beer said she uses this one in Ginger Binge slash Moscow Mule as a blush and everyone bought it, including me. Fenty highlighters are more glittery than sheeny, so I was a little nervous about how this was gonna look on me and the texture on my cheeks. It was definitely more metallic looking because it's a highlighter and not a blush, but I actually did not hate this at all. I did have to go over it with my sponge to take away some of that glitter, but the color and the glow it brought to my cheeks was super pretty. I don't think you need this specific product for this kind of effect, but if you're gonna try it, I recommend sticking to the side with less glitter. Charlotte Tilbury just dropped this beautiful skin foundation. The claims on the box were so funny to me. Like, skin tone looks more even by up to 210%. Sure. This foundation had a way thicker consistency than I expected, and I think because of that, it didn't really melt into my skin the way I wanted it to. The coverage leaned more on the lighter side, so I went back into certain areas and added some more. It's definitely buildable, but I'm not obsessed with how my skin is looking. I don't think it looks cakey, it just looks like I'm wearing foundation, and it's not as skin-like as the name would have you think. Do I think my skin tone looks more even by up to 210%? I can't really say, but this is just okay to me. I saw a TikTok that said this Sigma Renew lip oil is a possible dupe for the $35 Dior lip oil, so I had to compare the two because I'm obsessed with the Dior lip oil. It feels so nourishing on the lips and it has that big doe foot applicator that feels so cushiony. I could literally apply this all day. The Sigma lip oil looks so much like it. Look at these applicators. They're almost identical. The Sigma one is hydrating and shiny and it gives you that moisturizing, non-sticky feeling. It feels so much like the Dior one. The only discern difference I found between the two is that the Sigma one has no scent and the Dior one does. It's $22, which is still really pricey for a lip oil, and it only comes in four shades, but I think this is a really good dupe. Highly recommend. You guys have been asking me to try out some Rare Beauty on this show, so I picked up the new Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick and the Always an Optimist Soft Radiance Setting Powder. Let's talk about the bronzer stick first. I immediately got nervous watching it on the back of my hand because it looked so red, but I was so shocked when I saw how easily it blended in. I don't know why I applied this like it was a contour stick, but it worked out for me. The texture of this is something special. It's super smooth and soft and velvety, and it doesn't blend into nothing. You still see that color, you still get the warmth of a bronzer. It looked way less red when I applied it to my face, so I was actually really happy with this. Now the setting powder. I'll admit right now, I made a mistake getting the medium shade. I should have gone for light medium, but I expected this to be way more sheer than it actually was. I normally use a translucent powder, so using a setting powder with color was new for me. 
Applying it with my sponge was an immediate no. It made my skin look so patchy and weird. My powder brush was definitely the way to go. The powder was super finely milled and it gives your skin that soft blur that looks really pretty. It made my skin look a lot smoother on the side where I used my brush. It's still a little patchy in terms of color, but that's obviously my fault because this is not my color. I definitely need to try this again in my appropriate shade. And finally, let's talk about the new NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel. It's described as a thickening brow mascara. If you look really closely, you can see those little fibers that are supposed to make your brows look fuller and fluffier. I actually bought this for myself and used it once and thought it was just okay, but I had no idea you were supposed to layer it, so I did that this time around and my brows came out so much better. I'm obsessed with how this right brow looks. The left one, not so much, but that's always my problem brow. I kind of wish this had a smaller brush because I kept accidentally spreading the product outside of my brows, but I do like the natural full effect that you get with this.